Government agencies and elected representatives were under fire over the past week as they were accused of responding too slowly after the country's worst floods in years. Where did we go wrong in response to the crisis? We speak to Dr. Nurul Ashikin Mabawi of Parti Perjuang Tanah Air and researcher in flood risk management. We call it the service area analysis. This is the very simple analysis in order for us to determine how many minutes we need for certain flood depth. For example, if the flood depth is around uh, 3 meters, how many minutes we need from one station to evacuate people in a certain area to the evacuation center. We don't even have that kind of calculation. We, so, so since we don't have specific scientific calculation, everything will be so ad hoc without, you know, without proper preparation. So I think we need to improve that first. And in order to do that, we of course, the government offices need to implement certain technology, but I don't think it will cost a lot. And actually, Japan use this kind of analysis a lot. So we need to, we need to start using this kind of uh, analysis and calculation. We must make it very scientific. And in terms of evacuation area, in order for us to reduce the risk, uh, we can see that almost PPS, all PPS, Pusat Perpindahan Banji Evacuation Center, crowded with people because we do, again, we don't have any specific calculation for certain number of population, how many should evacuate to certain area. And we don't even have specific calculation for for example, in one kilometer radius or three kilometer radius for every residential area, we need to have at least one evacuation center. Nurul urged amendments to Directive Number 20 under the National Security Council to allow for a more proactive plan in disaster management. I think our problem is because we highly depending on NATMA, NAT Directive Number 20, actually Arahan Number 20. Uh, it is actually just a written order. It's not actually a flat act or flat regulation. And it must be activated by an executive order by the Prime Minister office because NATMA is directly under Prime Minister office. So just in case, in terms of flood incident, the Prime Minister office issued the executive order quite late in order for them to activate the directive number 20. So it will result to the current situation. Lah. The NATMA will uh, do their job quite late because NATMA in, in directive number 20 is just a coordinator. Coordinator floor for flood risk response. So they can't influence flood risk management. They can't influence any structural measures, flood venting ke, apa ke, they cannot influence that. They can just coordinate. But in order for them to coordinate that, we need to activate the directive number 20. So since we highly depending on directive number 20, just in case there is quite delay in uh, in terms of executive, uh, in terms of issuing the executive order, so it results to the current problem lah. The flood response to memang sangat lambat.